maybe they just feel like the players need a different voice. And they might need a different voice. And the last thing is that we talked about J.B. Bickerstaff getting mm -hmm. hired uh, with the, the Memphis, Memphis Grizzlies. And you don't get that hire unless your two best players sign off. Yep. Somebody might have, in a conversation with Masai, was like, hey, I'm not saying who, but if one of their better players was like, do you think that he's the guy to get us over the top? And if one of those better players says no, maybe that lead, feeds into the decision, right? I'm not saying it happened, but you don't make this decision if your best players are like, no, that's our guy. We just need to play better. You know, LeBron's great, blah, blah, blah. They probably don't make that decision. But, you know, again, he benches him in the, in the, four, uh, the game three. Yeah. If, he benches DeMar DeRozan. If they don't face LeBron James until the Eastern Conference Finals, coach is still there yeah but I mean how many teams could have said if 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 Mike we didn't face Michael Jordan if 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 we didn't face LeBron James these teams still the franchises still have to make decisions but yes you, they maybe they're just moving pieces around on the chessboard and it doesn't matter because they're going to get wiped off the board anyway Bad. I am interested to see what happens I will say this about Dwayne Casey he's a really good coach very good and coach. I think he is super respected around the NBA I have faith he will be a top candidate for some of these other jobs I certainly I hope, hope so 